We're going in. It's a day. It's a day, it's a day, it's a day. Going in. All systems go. <laughs> Working on. I'm trying to remember how to do the messenger line tie. I forget what it's called, but I don't think this is the right one. But I'm gonna back it up with some electrical tape and I think it'll be fine. Mm. So it looks close. It looks close. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. It's launch day. I'm very nervous. <laughs> this is much more wind than I hoped there would be. Isn't the wind coming from this direction too? It's coming from this direction. Because yeah. I, I feel it like here. I yeah. think we're completely opposite of what we need to be. Yeah. Even if there was zero wind, we'd still be nervous. This was our first attempt at raising the mast. Our 42 foot mast. Even though the boat was designed for this, many owners of these boats choose to have a yard help them anyway. But being able to do this by ourselves was a big factor in choosing this boat. We'll see. I'm Hope. also nervous because I have like kind of mostly no idea what we're doing. I mean, I do too. I, I have mostly no idea. So it's going to be interesting. We're going to do some reading. <laughs> we're going to do some reading. We're going to step the mast on this boat and we're going to put it in the water and we're going to go sailing. That's what we're going to be. Okay. So I didn't mark. When I took these out, which one was which, which was dumb. I hope that we'll be able to adjust it for what we need without too much fanfare. You wanna grab the other one? We actually need to go underneath this rigging. This is kind of scary. <laughs> That. I mean, I've, I've read the directions, but I don't know. There's just, there's a lot of potential things that can go wrong here. What are you seeing here that's potential? Oh, nothing. I just like, I've never used this system before. Like, I think that the, the shrouds need to go on the inside, but I can't really tell. Like the mass is going to slide back. And then when it starts to come up, yeah, which, which side does it need to go on? I mean, maybe we'll right. figure it out when we slide the mass back, it'll become obvious. Yeah. To me, this seems like it should have been called out explicitly in the stepping instructions and it's not. There's just a bunch of things, you know? It, pro it probably does need to go on the outside, but we'll figure it out. I'm gonna go connect the other side. Okay. And then before, before we step the mast, let's take a second and go through everything one more time and then we'll try and start stepping the mast. What's happening? Uh, the gin pole didn't have a hole drilled all the way through it. Apparently it had never been used before. <laughs> the gin pole is a crucial piece of a mast raising system. This wasn't a good sign. How does well, this all work? What we're gonna do is we're gonna slide the mast backwards until the base of it gets here. Then this pin right here actually connects through the mast and then this is what helps it pivot into the right spot to get the ball lined up. We're then gonna connect the yoke for the gin pole to the front of the mast. And so then we're gonna run the winch line and the jib halyard over the front of that Y and the gin pole. And then at that point, we'll connect these guy wires or these lower shrouds to the little flip up chain plates that are on the side of the hull here. And that's supposed to help support side to side motion of the mast. There we go. Good thing we're not in the water. And then you and my dad are going to control the main halyard and the screecher halyard to provide some extra support side to side um, to keep us vertically in a line with the center of the boat. So it's gonna be a lot of yelling and shouting probably, 
because it's gonna be a very high tense moment and we're gonna need to be able to react relatively quickly but smoothly. Mm -hmm. Fit the mast raising wires. And those are different lengths. We have one, one that's one inch shorter, so we could be potentially be two inches off on either side. Monitored on the first mast raising. This is to ensure that they cannot become over tight during launch. The F-31 mast is large and heavy with high loads and extra caution should be taken to ensure that it's not able to swing too far sideways. Never park in a crosswind or sideways on a slope unless extra help is available. So if we can do it right now, when there's no wind, we have the right slope because we're going up the slope and we'll right. have no side winds and we have extra help. So we should be good to go. Let's do this. Okay. Yep. And try and yeah, get in line with the mast base if you can. Okay. So you can be as wide as possible. You ready? Yes. 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 All right. Yet. Okay, we're just getting pressure then. Yeah. Okay. Anything? No. Okay. Yeah, slowly over the V up. What? The jib Uh huh. Is starting to fall too far over the jib hole. Okay, then I think we need to go and we need to have tightened that more. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it feels like it might be. No, nothing yet. I don't see it late. All right. Now it's getting really hard. Yes. And no movement on the mast yet. No. no. Round three. That looks better. Yeah. Is it moving? Moving. Put a little bit of pressure on it. All right, so I'm gonna go down, and we're gonna do this one more time. All right. All right, that was a good dry run. Yeah. So this is what happens when you have a brand new halyard and you try to raise a mast with it. It stretches. So we're having to re-tighten it down. Woo every single time because we can't have that shackle going over the gin pole. All right, yeah. well, let's wait for this wind. Yeah. Here we go. All right, we're gonna wait for this gust. All right, here we go. That's bending, do you see it? Yes, it is. Okay. Can you guys line up the mast? Lift it up, sir. The mast came down? Yeah, it did. I can't. It's on the rudder. The, the post is, is bending. Is it up? All right, line it up. The boat is moving a lot on the trailer here, too, which we didn't notice until watching this footage. So that's not good. Not good. Did we just bend it? Bend the hole. Now the pole is bent. Okay, here's what I want to do. I'm going to push on it this way. Dad, while you crank a few cranks. Keep going. A little more. Mask comes up. All right, get on the guy lines. Okay. Yeah, shit, it's bending. God damn it. All right, you got to take the weight off, but we can't do this. Go down all the way, Dad. That's all the way right there. Okay. We're done. Yep. Total bummer. I don't think we could have known until we tried, though, so. Big sigh. That 
was tough. Yeah. It was just mentally draining. We officially declared defeat. Yeah. We were up against so many different obstacles and we overcame so many of them. And but we were like a hundred feet from the water. The mast was coming up, but there were just too many sketchy things. The gin pole was bending. Our deck was sinking. Our deck has some rod in it or the hinge plate attaches. The Dyneema that attached to the jib halyard and ran over the gin pole and then down to the trailer winch was actually bending the bolt on the trailer winch. Right, and I did say I was gonna replace that bolt with a grade eight bolt, which I'm still gonna do and it'll probably be fine. Okay. But the winch came with a nylon like a strap, strap, which would spread the load out across the whole bolt. I couldn't find a winch with a cable, so I got one with a nylon strap. And we came out here and realized that it won't fit through the block that is used when stepping the mast. And I used a very small piece of Dyneema and we're gonna replace this on the winch, at least for now, and I hope it works once. Yeah. It was just... A lot of things were coming apart at the seams. Yeah, we were pushing it. Yeah. Luckily, we've got a boat yard about two miles away that I hope will be able to step our mast. Yeah. So. We just want to get in the water. We just want to sail. Like, there's so many issues with this boat. We know we're going to have to fix so many things. But we only have about a month left in the sailing season up here. And we want to see how this boat can sail. I think we learned a lot today. I think we had to do this again now. It wouldn't take us five hours. It would take us. Oh, yeah. I think we could cut it. Two. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then right. hopefully the, what, 15 that the inferior says it's supposed to take? 30. 30. Anyhow, it was a long, tough two days. We gave it our best shot. We're back. We've got an appointment to step our mast. So but now we've got to launch this beast, motor it over to the well, which is, is that a mile? A mile, yeah. And step our mast. With like 20 knot winds blowing. Ah. So I'm gonna hand you these to go back into that wrench roll. Yeah. And can we do a time check? Time. Never had a boat that had an anchor basket before. <laughs> it actually works kind of well. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I think once we get this in the water, we're pretty committed. Yeah. Not getting this thing back on in this weather. A little bit this way. Back until Lauren, you can jump on. You got the motor running, okay? Yeah. This took an agonizingly long time to drop the anchor. Kirk was suspect of the basket to begin with, and the situation proves that a roller with an anchor locker for uncoiled road is really a necessity. If we had somehow secured the road in a ready to toss overboard sort of way, this would have gone faster, but clearly we need a better long-term solution. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, give me the skirt. And then we'll get the, the bow on. I don't want the rudder to hit the bottom. You're clear, you, you got 25, 30 feet. Alright, we're sailing away now. So next time we sail back, okay. we'll get to the dock. Can you try and start the motor? Can I hold the anchor? Yeah. Okay. Run it for a second forward, and then it stopped again just now. Yeah, it just dies as soon as I give it gas. Yeah. I don't know why I can't get the rudder up. Okay. Alright, so it's Right on. Both of them up here. You got a choke or anything going? I don't know where the choke is. Is there a fuel line that has to be open on a tank? No, it's open. I hate fuel engines. <laughs> we don't fuel kids to it. Now it's now it's spitting water and everything. Let it warm up. It's warm. Talk to me, Kurt. It's good, huh? <laughs> it wasn't getting fuel. Correct. Except what was in the line. How awesome is this? Can we just throw back to our day on the river? Yeah, but this is a completely different issue. <laughs> The fuel line on the tartan was turned off. Uh -huh. This fuel line just wasn't seated properly and so some air was getting in and the suction wasn't sucking up out of the fuel tank. So in both cases it wasn't getting fuel. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we need to haul up anchor. Yep. We need to go to the boatyard, hope they can still step the mast. We're gonna have to throw off those dock lines. Can we do all this? Yeah. All right. Go electric. You like the ugly duckling? I do. I really, really like her. <laughs>